data analysis, data transmission. And welcome to the show. Now let's step back to a game that started the production of such great fighting games such as Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom vs. SNK, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, and X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Now I bring you Marvel Super Heroes. Originally, Marvel Super Heroes was an exclusive game in the arcade machines, until it was then imported to the Sega Saturn, then later to the PS1 during the mid-1990s. Now immediately, when you boot up the game, you will realize that there's a limited roster of characters to choose from, but I'm willing to let that go considering the character rosters are heavily improved in later installments, except for Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which had a very questionable roster. Now who was asking for MODOK and She-Hulk? Actually. Who the heck is asking for Chris fucking Redfield? Jill Valentine pretty much had more to do with Resident Evil than freaking Chris fucking Redfield. You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. The defining part about the game are the Infinity Gems. What are the Infinity Gems? Well, it kind of goes along like this. They are six mystical gems that represent soul, mind, time, reality, space, and power. Just having one gem pretty much makes you immensely powerful, while holding all of them BE THE MOST POWERFUL FORCE IN THE ENTIRE UNIVERSE! No kidding, here's some examples of the powers that these gems possess. The soul gem makes you have control of every soul in the universe, dead or alive. The reality gem practically not only makes you bend reality, you control reality. Science means NOTHING! The universe with the snap of a finger can literally be anything and everything you've ever wanted it to be. The mind gem makes you the most powerful psychic that ever existed. The power gem gives you an infinite amount of powers. The space gem makes you exist at multiple planes of the universe at the same time. And the time gem gives you control of the past, present, and the future. And it is glorious! So back to the game, you go through a series of easy levels until... Thanos? Whoa! Thanos? He's actually in this game? Well, this could be really challenging and awesome. I mean, holy shit, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet! It's game over, man. It's game over. It's game over, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. Nah. You're gonna take me up that mountain.
Yeah! 